Mr. Martin Cooper, 40 years ago you had a dream and uh, you invented the mobile telephone. How was that dream and did you expect what really happened in the following 40 years? Well, our dream at that time was that we knew that people were mobile. They were naturally mobile, wanted to move around. We knew that communicating through wires was a terrible solution. Wires are like we call the copper cage. We are trapped in our homes. We are tied to our desks, and that was not a natural thing. So uh, our dream was, was freedom. And we knew that someday everybody would have mobile telephones. And we used to tell a joke, and the joke was, someday when you were born, you would be assigned a telephone number, if you didn't answer the telephone, you had died. So we knew that this was going to happen. The one thing we could not predict was that a, a telephone would also contain a digital camera. There were no digital cameras. That, that, that uh, you would have a powerful computer. There was no such thing as a personal computer in 1973. The internet did not exist in 1973 but we knew that people wanted to be connected. Yes. Uh, today in Bologna you spoke about creativity. Let me ask uh, to the inventor and to the entrepreneur, which is exactly creativity, which is this extraordinary boost that uh, can offer solutions to problems. Which is your opinion about this? Uh, inventors are very interesting kinds of people. They are unhappy people. They don't like the way people do things. They always think about how can you do something different and better. So uh, it sounds like a, a very unsatisfactory kind of a thing, but it's balanced by the fact when an inventor comes up with a solution, the feeling of passion, of, of happiness that you get, makes up for the unhappiness of uh, uh, looking for a solution. Uh, for all the history of human race, creativity has been very, very important. Today we have a new element, the speed, which is the relationship between creativity and speed in our age. Well, if you talk about speed, meaning how quickly people adopt new technology, it turns out that hasn't increased in speed very much. People are very conservative. The big problem that we inventors have is getting people to adopt our technology as fast as we create it, and so far people tend to be conservative. It takes time. It takes sometimes a generation, sometimes two generations before people truly understand the meaning of new technology. So my grandchildren now know how to use a computer much better than I do. It's very natural to them. It's very part of their thinking. I have to learn all these things. So we will not really see the full benefits of mobile technology for at least one or two generations. Needs or, create or curiosities, which is the most important drivers for creativity? The purpose of technology is to apply science to make products and services that improve the human experience. Without the human part of it, technology has no meaning. So I think it's only need. Curiosity is okay, but curiosity implies that anything that you make that's new is good, and I don't believe that. Creativity means creating products that are useful to people, that make their lives better, and that's what we inventors try very hard to do. Uh, let me ask you uh, a fundamental sentence from Martin Cooper to the young people of next generations. Everybody is entitled to one thing, and that is passion. If you cannot wake up in the morning and be passionate, be anxious to get to work, you are doing the wrong thing, and you should find something else to do. Because the most fun thing in life, the most exciting thing, is to have a new idea, to make something constructive, to improve 
the ways of people, and everybody is entitled to have that positive feeling. Thank you very much, Martin Cooper. My great pleasure.